Hi beautiful souls, it's Tan back here again today with you and I want to make a quick video for you guys today just talking about Pluto retrograde and my Pluto retrograde musings and what I've been feeling. Because so Pluto is in Capricorn and it's going to be retrograding from about 26 degrees of Capricorn to uh, around 24 degrees of Capricorn and so this has been quite a, a heavy time for me because I have my moon in Cancer and so Pluto has been opposing my moon for the past two to three years so I've had having this just intense you know Pluto opposite moon transit and now Pluto is going retrograde but the thing is that when Pluto finally goes direct again it's it's leaving my moon this feels to me like a last push at the the end of that tunnel to get to the light it feels a little bit like that and you know if you guys have some planets in Capricorn you know, Cancer Libra or even Aries you may be feeling this quite intensely because um you are also going through some kind of Pluto transit you probably have been for the last years or so but so yeah I want to share a little bit with you guys today a couple of months ago my family received quite heavy news around the health of my dad and so he's very sick right now and every time that he he goes to the doctor and we hear you know what the doctor has to say it's we don't I, I can't sleep the night before he goes to visit the doctor because we don't know what the doctor's gonna say it's like this thin line between life and death it's this unknown that just creeps up at you you know whenever he goes to the doctor you just get this unknown feeling and it's it's kind of like that but this was unexpected for all of us but the way that my family so me my mom my sister and my dad handled the situation when we first heard of the news was not what I had expected because the first thing that I thought of doing when we received this news was that let's celebrate and not celebrate in that sense but celebrate in a sense that let's celebrate life let's celebrate the time that we still have left together because we don't know how long that's gonna be and so it's the irony that you know when you are faced with death, I mean the death is closer to you, you begin to want to celebrate life. And this might sound morbid but we are living to die and the awareness that every day we live is closer to the day of our death. Let's take that and celebrate that. Cherish it. It's kind of that energy and so what I did was I, you know, when we were first heard this I took my parents on a short trip to the beach, booked them a hotel suite where they can just stay together and have enjoyable time together and we've come this far, you know, like my family's been through a lot and there's a lot that I'm kind of, you know, I don't know, I have, I have sun opposite Pluto in my natal chart already so my dad is not a character that, how do I say, like he's just his life hasn't been easy for him and so I feel like he's been through a lot and I feel this really deep karmic you know tie to him deeper than I can even explain almost like like I so much don't want to be him but I am so much like him and I don't like it, but I also really love it. And so, um, so my dad has had a lot of traumas, you know, in his life, and he has passed on a lot of traumas to me when I was a kid because he couldn't resolve his, you know, past childhood traumas. For example, he um, he had a brother who, you know he saw the death of his brother his closest you know brother the one that he was really really close to he sacrificed his education for his three younger brothers because his dad my grandfather my grandfather didn't have enough money shall we say to 
fulfill an equal education for all of his kids and so my dad was the eldest and so my grandfather kind of pressured him and my dad's kind of like okay so he sacrificed his education for his three younger brothers he has a deep wounding you know there but luckily he has an Aquarius moon so he's kind of very smart very intelligent he was a really respectable person in society you know he worked with foreigners he worked he was a diplomat, worked in the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, and was very well respected by a lot of people. But deep down, he was very wounded. And he drank a lot. And every time that he drank, he was a scary person. There's been experiences of, you know, him being aggressive and or kind of with my mom. And last year I forgave him. You know, last year. Like, I, I made a video previously about how he's changed completely. Shockingly, can't believe it. But um, it made forgiveness easier. But even if he hadn't changed, wouldn't I have to forgive him anyways? Because here we are. We've come far and we don't know, you know, what, how many days, you know, how many months is gonna be left and how could you not forgive, right? That he did love, you know, he did love, but in, in a way where he didn't know love. He didn't know, not to say that his, my grandparents didn't love him, but he didn't feel that love. And so how was he supposed to really know how to give love? He tried to give it, you know, through being a provider. Not an emotional provider, but a material provider. And that was the way that he knew it and he did his best. So yeah, so what I've what I'm kind of just feeling is something about Gene Key 42, Human Design Gate 42, which is my sidereal sun in Aries. Letting go of living and dying, celebration and detachment, letting go of expectation. That's the way you really live fully, is when you're living with detachment. And detachment, you know, in this case means that you are fully absorbed and present in every little thing that you do every day, not thinking about the future, not even thinking about the past, like I feel this so deeply that it really does not matter what the future holds. It really doesn't matter what the future holds. And healing from the past is definitely important, but once you've healed from the past, let that go. Let that go. And that's why, uh, like, you know, I have people, you know, asking me as an astrologer, do you do transits? No, I don't do transits because I don't believe for myself, I don't value for myself knowing the future, knowing what's coming. Of course, you know, transits for the life cycle, it's, I feel that is important because it shows you your evolutionary growth, like Saturn returns or heavy Pluto transits or Uranus oppositions and things like that. Those are some things that's not about like, I'm feeling uneasy in the present. I want to know what to expect in the future. It's not like that. Those are like more of like your growth, your evolutionary growth type of a, a transit, right? Which is different from monthly transits, yearly transits, uh, weekly transits. That's kind of like, I don't want to perpetuate this idea that when I know what's going to happen, I'm going to be prepared for it. Because all in all, you can never be prepared. And even if you know how to prepare, would you really be happy and celebrate and be detached and celebrate the present moment if you were preparing for the future? You wouldn't be. And so that's just how I really strongly feel about this. This is just where I've come to at this point in my life. And I feel myself changing, like my physical body actually changes. My Something about my muscle memory that's the correct word to use it, cell memory, muscle memory, it feels different inside of me and and in a way I thank my dad for being here, for coming along this far, for making 
this life for me, my mom, my sister. I don't hold anything against him. I don't. And um, it's not worth it, beautiful souls. It's not worth it. Celebrate your life. Yeah, I guess that's going to be my message for you today. So leave the comments below if you guys have any reflections for you, this Pluto retrograde period or if you're going through some Pluto transits, what does that feel like for you? What's that been about? And um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button if you haven't. Um, I have services available on my website. You can also check that out if you want to connect more with me. Um, I'm available on Discord, Instagram, and you can also find all those links in the description box below. So. Have a beautiful day, beautiful souls. It is a beautiful day. Celebrate it. Bye.